Hi, this is Clint from Persuasive Evangelism. Uh, today, we're, I'm going to talk about God and science. So if you have questions about God and science, um, a great uh, resource is looking up John Lennox. Uh, he's an Oxford professor, mathematician, who focuses on science and God and how that all works together. Uh, he's debated leading atheists across the world. He gives lectures across the world, so there's a lot of great... Uh, videos of him online on YouTube. Just look him up. If you want to read a couple of his books, a great starting book would be Can Science Explain Everything by John Lennox. It's a high overview of what he goes over. Um, so it's only about 100 pages long. So um, it's a great starting book to... Let me get my glasses on. So let me just read a couple of the chapter titles. So you can see, know what it's about. So uh, chapter one, can you be a scientist and believe in God? Chapter two, how did we get here from Newton to Hawking? Chapter three, myth busters one, religion depends on faith, but science doesn't. Myth busters two, science depends on reason, but Christ does, or Christianity doesn't. Chapter five, can we really take the Bible seriously in a scientifically literate world? Chapter six, miracles, a step too far. Chapter seven, can you trust what you read? Chapter eight, how to disprove Christianity. Nine, the personal dimension. And 10, entering the lab laboratory, testing the truth of Christianity. So this is a great read um, to step into the world of John Lennox. And now if you wanna go get into more depth, um, about 15 years ago, 15, 20 years ago, um, it was called the new atheism came a lot of these high profile atheists were you know talking about atheism and trying to take out christianity and john lennox debated a lot of those atheists such as christopher hitchens um, richard dawkins so this book uh gunning for god why the new atheists are missing the target goes over um it's a rebuttal of um, the atheist arguments against Christianity. So it shows uh, a rebuttal and then it also shows the weaknesses of the atheist argument. So this is a great book to get into more depth. It's still pretty easy to read um, for my level. <laughs> uh, so some of the chapters in this book, if I can get to it. Oh. One second. If I can find the chapters. <laughs> oh, there it is. I'll have to edit some of this out. Uh, all right, so I found the chapters for this book. Chapter one, are God and faith enemies of reason and science? Chapter two, is religion poisonous? Chapter three, is atheism poisonous? Chapter four, can we be good without God? Chapter five, is the God of the Bible a despot? Chapter six, is the atonement moral morally repellent? Chapter seven, are miracles pure fantasy? Chapter eight, did Jesus rise from the dead? And chapter nine, final reflection. So I totally recommend both of these books um, to, if you have questions about God and science. And look up John Lennox. Um, his lectures and debates and interviews. Uh, they're really informative, but he also has a great sense of humor. Uh, so that's all for today. Um, I'm at the Lake Sacagawea again, and that's one of the fountains behind me. There's the walking bridge. All right, everyone, take care and God bless.